here is everything new in iOS 26.1 Developer Beta 1. Real quick, if you want to keep up to date with the latest Apple news and reviews, hit that subscribe button. Let's get into this. So here I am with the update for my iPhone 16 Pro that came from the release of iOS 26. I weighed in at about 14.32 gigabytes, which is definitely a hefty beta update here. Our old build number was 23A341. That was on the release of iOS 26. And now on the beta, we are in 23B5044L. As a refresher, the B means we've moved on to the next phase of the release cycle. So the 26 release, the dot zero is A, so dot one is B. And the 5044, that's the actual build numbers, those are the dailies. So every time they compile a new build of iOS 26.1, that number will increment. And then the last letter represents the stability. As we get closer to the release, it'll get closer to the beginning of the alphabet. Hopefully by the time we get to the full release of iOS 26.1, that would be an A there at the end, representing a very stable build. Okay, let's talk about some new features and changes. For Apple Intelligence, it continues to expand. There are additional languages supported for Apple Intelligence with this update. There's Danish, Dutch, Norwegian, Portuguese, Swedish, Turkish, Chinese, traditional, and Vietnamese, all with a 26.1 update. Let's jump into the phone app. Apple has updated the keypad UI. It is now more liquid glass-like. You can see they are a lot lighter, especially when you compare them to what it is before. So this is on iOS 26. The new ones there, they're more white. Definitely looks just a little bit more like liquid glass and the phone button is a little bit darker. Inside of the Photos app, I am playing a video here. You can see Apple has updated the scrub bar here at the bottom. This is one of my TikToks about like the new launch coming. So if you don't follow on TikTok, be sure to do that. But you can see the new scrub bar here at the bottom. Again, if we compare it to what it looked like prior, it was more of just like a slim bar. So I kind of do like the new UI. It's a little bit easier to kind of see and control pulls out a little bit more from the background. But yeah, Apple updated the new UI there for the scrub bar inside of Photos. Looking in the calendar app, now certain views of the calendar will highlight events in full color. So if you have multiple going on, they will show as different colors there all the way across. Before they would just show like the icon there on the left. It's a lot more visible this way to differentiate different calendar appointments by what type of calendar they belong to. Here is one good example how you can see the different events here have different colored backgrounds. They're just easier to see. For those with the new AirPods, Apple has expanded support for live translation. This now works in additional languages with 26.1. There's Japanese, Korean, Italian, and Chinese. That includes both the Mandarin traditional and simplified Chinese. Next, I am in the music app. This is Apple Music and I hit play on this song. Looks like really nice artwork and everything here. From here, I'm gonna go ahead and swipe back to the lock screen, like this now playing interface. You can see we have the song playing there, and if I tap on the artwork, it's now going to go full screen, which it did before, but now has that really cool animation where the clock and the date get smaller. So you can tap, I bring it back up. You can see, go again. It's a little bit jittery down here. Again, first beta, but the time looks very smooth. I really like that little animation that does. I think that looks great. For comparison, this is what it did before. Not quite as smooth as it is, you know, on the new one. Both long, full screen here, tap. You can see how that kind of animates up and tap it again, how they animate back the other way. While we were talking about music though, and we go back into the music app, this is really nice. You can now swipe on a song to go to the next track or go to the previous one. Other music platforms have had this, so it's really nice that Apple has brought it here. Really cool, just swipe through to keep changing songs. I also noticed this, which is funny. I'm in the mail app and all of a sudden after updating to 26.1, all of the icons that were kind of being sent to me are now like my, my profile icon. I don't know if this is a, a bug, but that's like my actual like Apple ID. I think like Memoji there. I'm not sure when those started to switch, but it definitely wasn't like that this morning before updating to 26.1. So that's a little interesting. So that's it. That's all I've really found thus far. Honestly, I'm a little surprised, maybe a little disappointed. Apple really did include everything that they announced with iOS 26 in the release of it. Like everything from WWDC was basically in the full release of iOS 26. So. I was hoping we'd maybe get some surprises, some new features with the 26.1 
beta cycle. But it looks like Apple is really focusing on stability, bug fixes, and just little tweaks to the iOS 26 and liquid glass experience with this update, which perhaps is what it should be. Let me know if you guys spot any other changes. We should see a release of this in a few weeks, maybe about a month or so, planned for sometime in mid-October based on previous release cycles. Otherwise, follow for more Apple news and reviews, and I'll see you all in the next video.